Hello, I am Kira, your favorite elf on a shelf. Today's story is titled The Christmas Gift. I hope that you enjoy this story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chrissy was sitting on the park bench after work. The holiday season was upon her and she was feeling sad and maybe a little depressed. This would be the first Christmas she ever spent without her husband. He had passed away and she did not see how she was going to get through this holiday or any holiday without him. She was lost and felt so alone inside. All she wanted was to have her husband back but she knew that getting him back was impossible. She wished that her heart was not hurting so much. She wished that forever really meant forever. She sat a while and then walked the rest of the way to her home. Chrissy put on some Christmas music to try and cheer herself up. No matter what she did she could not stop crying. After a while she decided to go to bed. She hoped that tomorrow would be better as it would be Christmas Day. She would be traveling a few miles to see her family. She knew that would make her feel better. Chrissy stood staring at the bed that she had once shared with the love of her life. It brought her sadness to have to sleep alone. She crawled up under her blanket and fell asleep. I wish that I wasn't so alone. I feel like my heart is breaking more and more each day. Chrissy arrives at her grandmother's house and goes in. Hey grandma. Hey come on in and get you some food. Everyone is scattered around the place. Chrissy makes her way into the kitchen and says hello to everyone. Hey Chrissy. Get you some food, Lexi cooked most of it and it is yummy. Cool thanks. Chrissy makes her a plate of food and starts to eat. People trickle in from out back and they all start talking and catching up. After dinner Chrissy goes home. I feel so much better. Maybe today isn't such a bad day after all. Chrissy sits in her chair and looks at the tree. It looks so beautiful with the twinkling lights and all of the shiny ornaments. She starts to feel a twing of sadness once again. Then she hears a knock at the door. Who in the world could that be? She goes to the door and answers it. There is a man standing there with a box in his arms. Can I help you? This is for you. I have been trying to deliver it for two days, but when they come you are never home. Who is it from? I do not know but it is addressed to you and it is supposed to get to you by Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. He leaves. Chrissy locks the door and carries the box to the table where she quickly opens it up. Inside is another box wrapped in red and green Christmas wrapping. She takes it out and rips it open. Wow this is the coat that I always wanted. Who would have sent me this? She found a card in the box. She opened it and it said. My love, I know by the time that you get this I will be gone. I know that this will be the first Christmas that you will spend without me. I know that you are probably hurting and sad, but please know that I love you and we will be together again one day. I bought you this coat because I knew that it was the one that you wanted the most. I hope that when you wear it you think of me and know that you are loved. Please don't grieve forever. Live your life and be the happiest that you can be. Tears flowed as Chrissy stared at the card with her husband's handwriting on it. She slipped the coat on and twirled around the room. She was so happy. Thank you for thinking of me. I am so happy right now.